السلام عليكم today our discussion will be about cubital fossa <coughs> cubital fossa is a triangular depression that lies in front of elbow joint actually this depression is composed mainly of muscles and since it is triangular means it has three border so the boundaries of the cubital fossa will be like that laterally it is bounded by a muscle called brachioradialis muscle medially another muscle is called pronate arteries muscle the third border of this triangle is formed by an imaginary line that drawn between the two epicondyles of the humerus which means the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle of the humerus cubital fossa has floor which is formed by two muscles laterally supinator muscle and medially brachialis muscle it has a roof which is formed by skin fascia which is reinforced by biceptal aponeurosis why the cubital fossa is important first because it is superficial in anatomical site if you see that its roof is only skin and fascia which considered thin protective layer second thing for its importance is coming from its content so the contents of the cubital fossa are enumerated from medial to lateral first the median nerve second is brachial artery and its bifurcation into its two terminal branches which are the ulnar and radial arteries and then the tendon of the biceps muscle and lastly the radial nerve and its deep branch if you look all these are a very important vital structure that are present in the cubital fossa subsequently all these structures are Superfi relatively superficial structure in this area this figure summarize our talking you can see this is the cubital fossa this is the area of the elbow joint you can see the brachioradialis muscle laterally pronate arteries muscle medially and this is the medial epicondyle of the humerus and this is the area of the lateral epicondyle of the humerus so this is the cubital fossa another thing you can see the content of the cubital fossa from medial to lateral median nerve brachial artery with its two terminal branches ulnar artery and radial artery tendon of the biceps muscle and the radial nerve also you can see part of the roof here the skin have been dissected 
from the area showing only the bicepital aponeurosis and here the floor which is formed by supinator muscle laterally and brachialis muscle medially another content of the cubital fossa are lymph nodes which called supratrochilear lymph nodes these groups of lymph nodes lying superficial fascia so they are superficial group of lymph nodes above the trochlea of the humerus and they are receiving the afferent lymphatics from third fourth and fifth the fingers from the medial part of the hand and from the medial side of the forearm when all these lymphatics will be drained finally into the axillary lymph node into the lateral group of the axillary lymph node as you all know Thank you.